Hello YouTube, this is Hillbilly Heath with another one of my budget EDC knife reviews. Uh, this review is going to be a lot similar to the last one on the uh, Kershaw Skyline because they are similar in a lot of ways. And I'll kind of set this little guy over here in the background so I can kind of demonstrate this. But this is the CRKT Ripple, Columbia River Knife and Tool Ripple. And uh, as you can see there on the blade, it is a Ken Onion design. Uh, Ken Onion designed a lot of knives for Kershaw, uh, like the Leak and several others. Uh, these knives, uh, like I said, have a lot in common. But before I get to that, I'll go over some specs for the Ripple. Uh, the overall length is 7.5 inches. Blade length is three and an eighth inches. Remember that review? Same length. Uh, does have a drop point with a hollow grind, like the Skyline. Uh, the difference is that I'm going to talk about now between the two are the handle material. You got G10 here, you got aluminum here, and then you can, as you can tell, it's it's kind of drilled out to help reduce weight, and it kind of gives it a cool look there. You can see the the holes go all the way through, um, and it it is I don't know if you can see that, but it is milled out inside there too to reduce some weight. Uh, the steel on this is different as well. You know that this was a Sandvik steel, and this is uh, on the uh, Ripple here. It is 8 CR 14 MOV. Um, they're both flippers though, with liner locks. Uh, the difference is this one has uh, washers that it rides on, and this one is ball bearings. Uh, and you can tell a difference. This one's uh, a little bit smoother in its flipping action. Um, they both uh, flip very well, but they're just a little, this one just a little smoother. Um, one hit on this knife, like the Skyline, is the pocket clip. And this clip is uh, even worse as far as where it's at is where it's at you cannot move it anywhere else on the knife so it is right hand carry tip down uh, which for me you know I, I prefer tip up but uh, you know there's really no way even if it did flip down here I don't think it would it would work very well just the style of this clip I mean they kinda contoured it to go along with the back of the handle here and it's kind of funky looking, but you know it, it it works. It serves its purpose. Uh, the blade shape is you know just your standard drop point, you know, with with some belly. Um, you got these nice nice uh, standoffs here in the back, you know, so it's like a flow through construction. You can see all the way through it, so it's easy to clean out. As you can probably tell though, I, I need to clean this one out. It's a little dirty inside there. But uh, an another great option for that uh, budget EDC list. Uh, I believe you can still get this one for right at $32, uh, which is great. So that means it would stay in my budget, budget EDC playlist. Whereas the Skyline has gone up in price, so it would probably be removed from that list. Um, yeah, so this is, this is really a, a, a great knife. I, I enjoy carrying it. It's, it's lightweight. It's weighs the same as the, uh, Skyline at 2.5 ounces. Um, the handles feel good. They're kind of curved, so they contour my hand. I get all my fingers on there good. Uh, you got some little bit of jimping on the back of the aluminum scales here and a little bit on the blade. Uh, not the best, but it is there. The, the Skyline has no jimping whatsoever, and this does have a little bit, but it's not very functional. I mean, it's it's there, but that's about it. Uh, but yeah, 
but this knife does I mean it's it's just cool looking isn't it uh, you know you see that and you're like oh you've wore it so much that uh, you've uh, scraped some of the paint off there no that's that's how it came they all come <laughs> with this pre-worn look on them and uh, you know it's kind of cool I wish it was a little more consistent it's kind of really rubbed here and not as much here but uh, really really nice design I, I really like carrying it like I said and uh, they rounded the spine off here which is you know some attention to detail that you don't see on a lot of uh, knives in this price range so I mean there's there's a lot of good going on here you know there's some drawbacks as well but you're going to have that in in budget folders so if you uh, are interested in this knife I su highly suggest getting it um, as if you watch the uh, the first video on with uh, all the knives in it you you know that this wasn't my top pick but uh, you know it's in that list so it deserved to be there for a reason uh, like I said in the in the original video, uh, I want a blade between three three and a half inches. I want it to be uh, three and a half ounces or less, uh, preferably three, closer to three. Uh, both of these that I've showed you so far have been under three, so that's that's a great thing. Uh, but this uh, this knife fits all those criteria, and that's why it's in my list. The Ken Onion Ripple. Buy it.